We're boarding right now. We're yeah. heading to Panama. Here we are, the little crib, getting ready to roll out. Woo! Hey, buenos! Hey, y'all, buenos! Oh, Lord! Y'all say a course for kids. <laughs> course for kids! Course for kids! Of course for kids, everybody. Of course for kids. Yay! One of my favorite things about this court is that the materials we used to build it came from the community. Uh, for example, the sand came from the actual riverbed that was directly next to the court. Uh, there did come a point, though, where we ran out of sand and we had to go and get it from the other side of the river. Um, originally, it was just the locals who are going across the river to get that sand, but me and a few other girls were like, no, we can do this, we can, we can help. And it felt so cool to be able to accomplish something that would have been difficult in any environment, but being able to really feel like we were using the natural resources there and putting it back to work was a cool experience. Well, first we, they had cement bags way on the other side. There would be the court and there was a big pile of grass, a big area of grass, and we would have to wheelbarrow the concrete bags across the big area and get them to the station where everybody's moving them. And so you would fill up four buckets, buckets of rocks and then four buckets of sand, and then you would put it into a mixer, and then you would also add the con half of the concrete bag in the mixer, and that's how the process would keep going. And we would keep doing that process while another set of group of people would wheelbarrow the concrete onto the platform and then pour it, while the people who helped with the concrete, they would lay it out, flatten it out, make it smooth. So my favorite memory is going to Benito's farm. Um, I think just having the whole group there and seeing everyone really interact with the locals and try the different fruits and just see how giving these people are, especially Benito, he was amazing. Um, that was definitely my favorite memory, just enjoying the coffee and the momochinos and all the fruit and the coconuts. I kept saying, like, throughout the whole trip, they're so inspiring, they're so amazing. And I knew, obviously, coming into the trip, student athletes, they're hard workers, they're dedicated, they're motivated, but this specific group of student athletes was absolutely incredible. I could not have asked for a better group of students. Um, they, from the start, like, just wanted to do anything that they could, jumping into the kitchen and doing the extra work and clearing the plates and making sure that all the students were okay and making sure that just the chaperones were okay, um, checking in on everyone and just really doing their part and going above and beyond. Um, and especially while working on the court, they just put in the work. I was so inspired. They just kept going. They didn't take breaks and they were really motivated to finish this court and to be able to show it to the community finished. I honestly think I moved at least about 2,000 pounds worth of cement bags across that field. And that takes a toll on your body, but I'm so glad to help that community. I was just happy when we finished it. Student athletes, student athletes, my advice to you, anytime you get a free opportunity to do service, whether it be in the United States or it be out of the country, Take full advantage of it. I promise you will thank yourself years down the line for doing it. If you're really thinking about doing a trip like this, do not hesitate. If you want to learn about a culture and actually where they stay at, man, this is the trip for you, man. I recommend this trip to anyone and everyone who is of service. 